So today we're going to do something a little bit goofy. We are going to make a pop-up menu in NeoVim. And by the pop-up menu, I mean when you right-click on something, you can actually make a little menu pop up here. And so we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna customize this and give you some of your own uh, little little nice things going on here to try. Now you might be wondering, TJ, why are you doing this? One, because it's funny. Two, occasionally maybe you're sitting back, you know, drinking some coffee, terminal .shop, coffee maybe even, right? And you're just moving around with your mouse and you want to be able to right click on stuff and then that's it, right? And you don't want to have all your hands on your keyboard the whole time. That's fine. You know, maybe you want to try that. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. So we're going to do a few things here. There's a few things that we need to do. The first thing is to know um, all of the configuration for menus has to be done in VimScript because we don't have a Lua version of it. Maybe someday we will. I don't know, but it's, it's fine. We're going to do that. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear the original pop-up menu. We don't want what is currently there. The other thing we need to do to clear this is we actually need to use, we actually need to clear um, the the auto, the auto command group. There we go. Those are the words I'm looking for, which basically does some nifty stuff that we're going to kind of copy um, that can basically check like, hey, if we're inside of somewhere with an LSP, maybe we show go to definition. Well, we want to clear this because we're going to customize it completely and we're going to make our own in a moment to do add auto command um, here and we're going to get to there. Okay. So we're not there yet, but that's what we're going to do next. So the next thing that we do here is after we um, source this file, now you'll see when we right click, nothing happens. That's because we've unmenued this in all the places. So this means all unmenu pop up. Okay. Let's add something. So a no re for um, all no re basically like don't remap any of these menu pop up dot let's say inspect and we'll do something like uh command inspect and then enter this is the same thing we've done before where we've done something like um inspect like this and it'll print what the highlights are so we can do the same thing here by sourcing this file and now when we right click we'll see inspect and we can call that so that just calls what's on the right hand side here uh, but now let's get a little bit trickier. We can do a nice a nice little trick here where we can add a little basically empty space by doing like a dash one. This means don't do anything and do a no op. When we execute this, we'll see an empty space here. Totally cool. And then we can try and do something like this. A no re menu and we're going to do pop up dot definition and we'll do command and let's do lua vim dot lsp dot buff dot definition and we'll call that, right? So that's going to be the same thing as if we had print group here, right? If we did lua vim.lsp.buff.definition, then we're going to go to the definition of that thing. But now when we execute this file and we right click here, we can click go to definition. Now, now I want to though create basically the thing that we had before, which will disable definition if there's no LSP attached. So let's try and do that right now. We're gonna create a new auto command. We're going to do it on menu pop up. We're going to say, hey, what have we got? We're going to do our pattern is everywhere. That's what star means. Group is this auto command group. This lets us resource this file and it will delete the old ones if we're done. And then description could be custom pop up, uh, pop up setup. That's a lot of ups in a sentence, but that's fine. And then we have a callback here. What are we going to do inside of here? Inside of this callback, we're going to check something. So let's say local. Um, Let's say if vim.lsp.buff get uh, or buff is it clients, Cl get client, get clients ooh, 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 right here. And we want to say, I think it's buff number equals zero. If this exists, right? So if this exists, if there are any buffers so or any clients, let's go like this one, then we're going to do something here. This is going to say, hey, I want to turn on definition. So what we need to do first is we could just say something like uh, vim.command and then we're going to a no re menu, but we actually want to, uh, sorry, a menu, we want to disable. Okay, so what we can do is we can disable a particular menu item by doing a menu. And so we can go pop up dot definition. All right, so if we do this way, let's say we source this now, we shouldn't ever see the definition, right? See how we don't, we don't see it. We're not going to see that at all. And in fact, we can even do a menu uh, disable and we can say pop up dot one like this. And if we run this now, we'll see uh, that this isn't working either for pop up dash one. That's okay. Maybe we just don't do that one. That's okay. 
Um, so we're here and we have inspect. Okay. Now what we need to do though, is we need to enable this if we have, um, like an LSP attached to the current buffer. So we can do that by just changing this to enable. Now, when we run this, we execute this file. When we right click on group here, we get our definition back. We can right click and go. So if I opened up a new file here, there's no LSP attached. It doesn't show up, right? So that's kind of where we're at right now is we have the definition. But what if I want to do something else? What if I want to do references? Well, fortunately for us, we could go something like telescope LSP references the same way that we've done stuff before. So let's say we have print group here. Now we run this. Um, when we click on this group, we should see references. And then this will show the different references that we have available to us, which is really cool. I think we can actually do even better than this by doing the same strategy we just did here for references and then do the same strategy here for references like this. So now if we execute this file again, we'll still see our references. But if we move to a new buffer, references is not going to show up. So you can extend this idea to a few other places. Probably the one that I think is uh, like the nicest one here too is I like having back uh, for this, which is nice. And so this basically just sends you back to where you last were from your definition. And we can go ahead and do the same thing here for doing... Um, well, I'll leave back all the time because maybe you want to hop back even if you're not an LSP because this has tags. So if we execute this and I go um, go to references, it's going to take me to one of these, right? Let's say we go here. Now I can right click and I can just go back and it will take me back to where I was. That's control T that jumps you up the tag stack. Very useful command. One of my favorites. Maybe we should go over jump list and tag stack. If, if you're interested in that, let me know. We can go over that maybe next time. Um, the only other one that I thought is like pretty cool is, uh, this concept here that's in the built-in one, which we'll call, um, we'll just call this like URL, uh, maybe like, I'm just going to call it URL. I don't like having so many extra things here. Um, let's go here and make this a two. So pop up URL. Then the, the thing that's pretty nifty for this, if I do say so myself is, um, this goes right here and we can change this to url this is what's inside of uh inside of neovim's thing is this says hey do we have any urls right here and then we can start with does this thing start with a url which is really cool so it can tell you if you're like right clicking on something um and then all we need to do here is we also need to just disable pop-up url by default so now when we execute this we won't see url at all but if we had this hello or we'll say terminal dot shop like this and we execute this file when we right click here we don't see anything when we right click here we see url <laughs> and it takes you to terminal.shop a great place to buy coffee so anyways that's pretty much everything for pop-up menus that i want this is basically what i have for my config which i think is like pretty fun um and you could customize this to be your own little things maybe there's stuff that you only do like once every you know, like three months, some command, you could put that into the pop-up menu so that you could have it available to yourself. I think that that's kind of like a actually reasonable and useful uh, use case for that scenario. So anyways, that's using the mouse in NeoVim. They said it could be done, <laughs> but we did it anyways. All right. See you later, everybody.